Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video I just wanted to show you this nice and quick button animation. It's really interesting to see because we are going to include some different icons and different transitions. Just to show you what I mean, here is the example and I didn't want to spend too much time on the overall design. So when users click purchase now, it's going to go down, truck is going to appear, button is going to go back and it's going to set delivery send. So if I show you that one more time, just to see how it's going to look like and delivery sent. So I think it's really nice looking. I think it's going to really add up some uh, interest to your designs. So without any further ado, let's get started. There are many different ways that you can execute an animation like this and obviously the preferred method is Adobe After Effects because that's the tool of choice for decades basically for professionals who are doing this really complex animations but because Adobe XD is there why not just as well use it just for fun just to see and explore what we can do inside of it so if I show you here I have the example which I already went ahead and created and I'm not going to bore you too much with how I created this is just some basic design if you want to get it the patreon link is going to be down below if you want to get any file moving forward which I'm going to create here on the channel including this one so what we have right here I'm going to switch back to my layers panel and by the way we have three colors we have one character styles and we have a left and right arrow which is which are just these arrows so really basic stuff up here we have this back arrow which I can also add by hitting ctrl k to my assets panel and here it is inside of the components just to have it in case we have image, so we have shoe and image background. Shoe is just basically a PNG and that's the that's basically it. Pagination, we don't have any animations, but you can clearly see that if they click left or right, I just basically took this from another tutorial which I did previously for website design and I'm going to link it down below in the description so you guys can check it out if you're interested just to see this exact shoe transition and where I took these arrows from. So moving down below, we have just some basic text. Uh, I also took this from that tutorial. We have some basic sizes just to include some information that we can go for and call this basically a design rather than just me showing you this button. And finally, as the button itself, we have BTM. So as I said, uh, I used Poppins 16 basically anywhere, everywhere except for this. And let me quickly add it to the character styles by clicking right here. So we have 24 and 16, 24 are these two, 16 is everything else basically and this text is just plain white. So when it comes time to animating, what you need to do in order to achieve that effect, which I already show you, is some icon. And I'm going to quickly show you that. I'm going to quickly grab one icon and paste it inside of here. So hit Control V and here it is. It's just a delivery truck icon. And I'm going to go all the way down with it. So. Let me locate it. Here it is. I'm just going to hold my shift key and my bottom arrow key. I'm going to go back right here to my assets and I'm going to uh, use for the fill color. I'm going to use this color. So that's basically it. I'm going to place it somewhere around here and I'm going to rotate it a little bit. So when it drops a little bit later, it's going to um, include basically some sort of uh, visual interest rather than just going from left to right it's a little bit boring so it's going to drop from the top it's going to rotate and then it's going to go back to the right side so that's basically it for that and uh, here we have purchase now I'm going to duplicate that text going back and I'm going to hide the original instead of purchase now I'm going to write in delivery sent like that then I'm going to bring this back, delivery sent, I'm going to hold my shift key, move it up basically, and I'm going to hit zero two times, or I don't even have to because we are going to uh, include a mask. I'm going to hit control D on the BTN. I'm going to quickly call this a mask, just so that we know what we are doing. And I'm always recommending this to people, just keep naming your layers because it's going to be much easier for you. Uh, you're going to be much more organized and you're going to find these layers much easily, especially on big projects where you have thousands of these different layers. So what we are going to do with the mask, basically I'm going to hold my Alt or Option key on a Mac, extend it just a little bit and just a little bit up. So something like this. Next, I'm going to move it all the way up and that's going to cover basically everything that you see right here. 
And after we have all of that, what I can do actually is include the border, remove the fill color, just so that we can see a little bit better what we are doing right here. Next, I'm going to select it, hold my shift key, go all the way down, and then hit shift control M. Once again, shift control M. What's that going to do is it's going to mask all of our layers so we can see that delivery truck is right here, delivery scent is right here, and these rest, uh, rest of these layers. I'm going to call it mask just so that I know what it is. And the next thing I'm going to do basically is create a component. To create your components, it's best to hit control K or you can even go right here and click on this plus icon. Default state is always going to show on the top of your components and then you can add states, you can add hover states and so much more. I don't want to create hover state for this uh, purpose just so that I can create this a little bit quicker, but you can also include hover state, how many other states you want. So for the first state, what we are going to do is I'm going to call it clicked. So new state clicked. And what that state is going to support basically is I'm going to go all the way down to my BTN and I'm going to move this purchase now out of the way. So once again, mask is going to hide it. I'm going to click on my BTN, lower it down to somewhere around five in height something like this and the original one is 50 which is important to understand because we're going to go back and forth between these values so currently we are at five and that's basically it for this state i'm going to create a new state like that call it truck like that inside of this state I'm going to lower my truck into position to somewhere around here and I'm also going to rotate it like this. I'm going to place it there. You can also nudge it to the left a little bit if you want to, but I found that this uh, works just fine for this example. Next, I'm going to create a new state. This state I'm going to call truck drives or driving, however you want. And for this state, basically, the only thing you want is to remove the truck out of the frame. So just around here, so it's not visible anymore. And now finally, let's create another state, which is confirmation. And inside of this state, we're going to wrap it up. So I'm going to click on my BTN. I'm going to bring it all the way up until it's at 50. So right here. And finally, I'm going to uh, put this delivery sent text back in the center right around here. And that's basically it. So if you click between your states, you can see how all of them look like. And you can hit control or command zero to snap back into position just to see um, how your artboard is looking like. Next thing I'm going to do is make some copies because I'm going to use time trigger and time trigger is not currently supported at the moment of making of this tutorial between your different states. So you cannot use a time um, transition between your states. You have to use different artboards. And I really truly hope that Adobe XD supports this update in future because it would be a massive help and you will not have have to duplicate all these artboards and create multiple copies like we have to do in this case. So what I'm going to do is basically make four more copies because we have five states originally and this is the default state. So one, two, three, four. You can also name your artboards if you want to, but I just named mine download now and then one, uh, two, four. What I'm going to do is select, then click, use clicked, truck, driving, and finally confirmation. So what I'm going to do next is move to prototype. I'm going to click right here because at this stage we need to connect all of our states because we have all of these copies and I'm going to use tab trigger and also time trigger. So we need to connect all of them to make this uh, animation work properly. So what I'm going to do first is simply select my button because that's where I want to tap. Click and drag this blue arrow. What I'm going to use is tab auto animate and I'm going to use, for example, easy now to 0.6 seconds. That's fine. Next, for this one, what I'm going to use here is time. So basically the time trigger is really important and really useful if you want some kind of delays between your animation. And that's what I was talking about before. Sadly, that is not supported yet as of making of this video, but I really hope it will be in the future. So what I'm going to do here for the time, as you can see, I dragged it right here into position. What I'm going to do is use delay of 0.4 seconds and delay basic, basically means how long 
XD is going to wait before it moves onto other transition or onto other R port in our case. So in our case, we are going to use something really small like 0.4 seconds. Basically, when this goes to this, it's going to wait for 0.4 seconds before it moves on to this. Now for this, we're going to use easy in out 0.6 seconds. That's fine. Next for this one, what I'm going to use is also time. But here I'm going to press 0.0, .0 enter to bring it back to zero because we don't have zero right here. So that's just one tip for you. I'm going to use easy in out. And here I'm going to use something big like two seconds because from here to here, I want truck to drive more slowly just to create this sort of illusion while the user waits for this confirmation. And finally, what I'm going to do here is also use the time trigger like this. And I'm going to have a delay of 0.4 seconds because once again, once it finishes, I don't want it to go all the way up uh, right away. I wanted to wait for a bit and then go all the way up. And finally, for here, I'm going to use 0.6 seconds. And that's basically it for our animation. Let's now check it out and see how it looks like. So to check it out, simply click right here to open up your preview. I'm going to enlarge it a little bit. So once again, when they click purchase now, truck drives and then delivery sent. What I don't like really is, yeah, that's fine, but I don't like really when it drops. I wish it will wait a little bit more so we can fix that. So once again, this is where it drops. So what I can do is include a little bit of a delay. So for example, 0.4 seconds. Let's see how that looks like. So once again, it drops, waits, and then goes away. Delivery sent, and that's basically it. So I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you can see uh, what you can do in Adobe XD without using uh, Adobe After Effects. Once again, After Effects is definitely the way to go when you're creating this sort of animations. But once again, you can use Adobe XD just to show to the developers, to show to your peers, and to show to your colleagues what it can be done. You can also dive deeper into CSS. You can also speak with more experienced developers who are able to help you with this sort of stuff just to navigate the way around the code and make this sort of thing actually work. And once again, I really hope that Adobe XD team introduces that time trigger between these different states rather than us having to duplicate these R ports because that would be of massive help. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you found some value in it. If you did, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos every single week on design, passive income techniques, motivation, and more. So if you don't want to miss them, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.